Neurosurgery is not a job. Uh, it's a vocation and it's a calling. In the moment, in the minute, it can be, you know, seconds to life and death. You know, it's neurosurgery internship. Like, there's lots of things to do, but I never felt alone. Everybody here has your back. My name is Michael Shoulder. I'm the Vice Chair and Program Director in the Department of Neurosurgery at Northwell Health. We have a large neurosurgical department that cuts across the entire health system from Eastern Long Island, across Nassau County into Queens, Manhattan, Westchester, and Staten Island. Our health system is massive. We've got 23 hospitals, about 4,500 employed physicians. It is the largest health system in the state of New York. We see so many patients. Our residency training program is focused at three sites. North Shore University Hospital and LIJ Medical Center, which are 1.8 miles away from each other. Lenox Hill is a relatively short drive away in Manhattan. Long Island plus the Queens and Brooklyn is like 8 million people. We end up getting a huge volume of neurosurgery cases because they just kind of funnel into North Shore University Hospital, which is the flagship hospital. There's no question that the greatest strength of the Northwell Neurosurgery Program is the clinical volume. Based upon that clinical volume, we can do many other things. Northwell has a huge network of neurosurgeons, and I think that part of the advantages is that you can kind of pick attributes from different ones or different things that help build you into the neurosurgeon you want to be. The culture at Northwell is, I think, a major draw. The focus of our program is not to overly burden the residents or to make them feel like they cannot keep up with the workload because our main goal is resident education. And a lot of that comes through doing the clinical work. We like to get residents into the operating room pretty much from the beginning of their training. I think it's extremely unique how much the interns get to operate. I, uh, I've already logged 35 cases in my first month and that's mostly OR procedures. The other thing is the Bioskills Simulation Center run by Northwell, we had the opportunity to go there and to simulate surgical approaches using state-of-the-art microsurgical equipment, CAT scan machines, navigation, all these things. It's just a, an amazing opportunity. Our angio suites are also connected to the Bioskills lab, so that way you can see cases going on live as if you were right in the control room of the angio suite. If you graduate from this program, you will absolutely know how to do pretty much every kind of technical neurosurgery and do it well. You have the ability to choose what you want to go into. And you know, that's not something that's necessarily for everyone. It takes someone who has uh, some passion and some drive to, to pick what they want to go into and pursue that. So I discovered in my third year when I was over at Cohen Children's Hospital that I loved working with kids. Being able to discover your passions early on, say as a PGY 1, 2, or 3, and then focus those in as you become more senior is, is incredible, and I think a lot of places don't have that kind of flexibility. We are trained to be excellent surgeons first, and then we get to kind of pursue our uh, other passions, whether it be in basic science research, clinical research, or even global health. We have two years set aside for research. That was a big draw for me. There aren't that many programs left in neurosurgery that still offer those two full years of protected time for research. We also have the option at our on-site research institute, the Feinstein Institute for Medical Research, for residents to get a PhD. For those who are interested in more fundamental research, you have Cold Spring Harbor Labs. The affiliation with Cold Spring Harbor, which is just this amazing, incredible basic science research campus on Long Island that has some of the most fascinating and incredible research going on, has given me the opportunity to prepare for a career in basic science research. The amount of resources available to help you with your research goals, even from a clinical standpoint, uh, all of our attendings have research projects going on. So when you discover, you know, oh, this is something that I'm interested in doing or pursuing as far as a subspecialty, and you find mentors in those fields, they're going to have projects that you can jump on and help them with. Um, that's a real strength of this program. In our department, mentorship is a key factor in the residency experience. 
Despite having 23 full-time neurosurgeons who work with us, we really get to know each of them at a very personal level. And it's just a very collegial, positive environment. Everyone here is very engaged with the residents. It's really a resident-centric program. There is a lot of teaching that goes on, and not necessarily only by the faculty members, but by each other. And as they progress through the seven years, their role changes from a learner to a teacher. And it's, it's a beautiful thing to see. I mean, it's hard work. There's no way around it. You can't learn to be a technically excellent neurosurgeon without working hard. But having said that, compared to a generation or two ago, this does not have to come at the cost of your life or your mental health. The program does so many things for the residents to make sure that there is a work-life balance and to respect the needs of the residents and make sure that those needs are met beyond just the clinical learning needs and the research needs. We are just outside New York City. It is a beautiful suburban area. A number of residents live in Long Island City. Now two of us live in Manhattan. Commuting here has been very, very easy. I live in Murray Hill. It takes me about 20 minutes to get back and forth each way. I drive both ways. I live in Queens, Forest Hills, which I honestly feel like is the best of both worlds. I can have a short subway ride to the city, or commuting to the hospital is really easy. It's like a 15-minute drive. I think it's the perfect balance. In the Northwell Neurosurgery Department, I think what we are looking for primarily are applicants who want to leave neurosurgery better than they found it. We maintain a spirit of inquiry in our department. We always want the residents to be thinking, what can we learn from this experience? What can we contribute to the world's knowledge about neurosurgery? We want to prepare them to be leaders in their field. Several of my trainees are now chairs in other departments of neurosurgery around the country, and they are training the next generation I really am very confident where I'm going because of kind of this support system that I have here. Being a neurosurgeon has given me some of the most meaningful experiences in my life because you have the ability to so profoundly impact another human's life. The big thing about deciding where you want to go to residency is where you fit in and where you find your people, and I really found my people here. Dr. Shoulder in particular was, you know, arguably one of the reasons I went into neurosurgery, just as how much he cares about his patients and how much he works with the residents to inspire them to sort of be the best versions of themselves and achieve their, you know, goals in their careers. And I think that this program really sets you up to do that. There's no way I could have done what I have done research-wise anywhere else. The responsibility and the privilege of training the next generation of neurosurgeons to make sure that they will give each patient the most attention, the best care, the most thought is an incredibly important opportunity and the most exciting thing I could think of doing.